Nancy De Lolio says England have a greater chance of success under Gareth Southgate than her ex Van Joran Eriksson because the latest generation of wags are less of a distraction. The Italian lawyer, 59, has welcomed the new breed of intellectual partners into the Three Lions setup for Euro 2020 believing they won't revel in the spotlight of the media, unlike the party-loving wags of her era. Speaking exclusively to Mail Online, Nancy claims she warned the likes of Victoria Beckham, Cheryl Tweedy, and Ellen Rivas, partners of stars David Beckham, Ashley Cole, and Frank Lampard, about their lavish spending habits in the German spa town of Baden-Baden, which sparked more coverage than the team during the 2006 World Cup, but they simply ignored her. And Nancy insists she wasn't part of the clique and only spent a couple of nights with them. Nancy said, I tried to warn some of them about their behavior because they were distracting the players. The press were not talking about the wives and girlfriends of any other of the teams. I suggested they have to be more careful but they just did whatever they wanted. I was not involved in that scene, despite the rumors. We were friends but I was doing my own thing with my other friends who were with me. I also spent a few days in Milan. Asked if the wags enjoyed the attention, she replied, absolutely, yes. They enjoyed it, they were in their moment of celebrity. It's quite human in a way. The current crop of three lions wags include six with degrees, Harry Kane's wife Katie, 27, who specialized in sports science, Fern Hawkins, 27, fiancé of defender Harry Maguire, a graduate in physiotherapy and law student Mia McLennigan, the 21-year-old girlfriend of Chelsea star Rhys James who graduates from Royal Holloway University this summer. The brainy bunch are a huge contrast from the pop stars and models associated with a 2006 generation. Although she admits the current wags are not as glamorous, Nancy feels they are more likely to spark better performances on by pitch at this month's Euros, which starts today. Nancy explained, it's good they're not celebrities. Absolutely. They are contemporary women, more emancipated, they are much more educated. It is a good thing. It's more appropriate. If they are a celebrity, they will find a way, if they're being pushed by their manager or their PR people to try and get some attention, it's part of their system. Even unconsciously, you try to get as much advantage as possible. The wives and girlfriends at Baden-Baden went too far and I think the Federation changed some rules so it wouldn't happen again. Now they are wiser so they can work out how to be more anonymous. That will certainly help the team and give them more chances of winning during this tournament. The players can concentrate much better now. Nancy was speaking from her home in Rome where she has been based since Christmas having returned from the UK. She has a new job, ambassador of Puglia, a region of southern Italy close to her heart where she spent many summers visiting her parents based there. Her task is to increase its profile and attract more tourism. She explained, I'm very honored to be given the role. It's a lot of hard work but I'm enjoying it. It's all about promoting Puglia, developing the tourism and taking care of the public relations. The area is becoming more attractive for investment so we have been doing quite well. Lots of people are coming over here from England to do business. I've spent most of my life working abroad so to be back after 35 years is a great opportunity. But everybody knows me here from my time in England. 
Nancy told Mail Online she is back in touch with ex-England boss Sven, 73, whom she dated between 1998 and 2007 during which time he had two high-profile affairs with TV presenter Ulrika Jonsson and former FA secretary Faria Alam. But there is no chance of them getting back together. She says, I have been in touch recently, yes. We've been talking, but we're not friends. Indeed, Nancy, who also previously dated theater director Sir Trevor Nunn, hinted she has a new man. She added, I'm single, but not alone. That's all I can say. I don't need dating apps. I have the chance to meet a lot of people doing what I do. I wish I could be more anonymous, it doesn't make it easy. The last year has been focused on my new job but I'm happy to be single and welcome a nice romance. I love my freedom and independence, 